of Yosemite. This is our last little day here and we're gonna do a very long drive up by Tioga Road. I've been pacing my paces to come with coffee. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video about our Tioga road trip in Yosemite National Park. The Tioga road is a mountainous windy road including the highest mountain pass on any road in California. It's only open in the summer months and since it's a very long way from start to finish we weren't really sure if we could make it there and back in one day but we had already booked our accommodation back in Yosemite West Village so we knew we had to get back by that night. So keep watching this video if if you want to see our adventure along this road trip day. This vlog is of our third day in Yosemite National Park on our two-week road trip through South and Central California. It was just me and my grandma traveling for a couple of weeks after I graduated from my master's and I just really wanted to explore a bunch of places that had been on my California bucket list for years. This is actually my 40th video that I'm uploading to YouTube, so I'm pretty excited that my channel is growing at the moment, so I really appreciate your support, and I'm excited to see where this channel goes in the next couple of months and years. Thank you so much for watching. Hello! Welcome to day three of Yosemite. This is our last like full day here and we're gonna do a very long drive up by Tioga Road and it's gonna be two hours in one direction and then all the way to Mono Lake, Mono Lake I think, and then two hours back but we're gonna stop along the way so it's probably gonna take all day and I'm really excited because I've heard that that area is a lot less crowded and really beautiful so we'll see. We had eggs for breakfast this morning and now I kind of burned the bacon so the whole house <laughs> smells like bacon, but fine. I hope I can find a spot to swim in as well today. I think there's a multiple lakes along the way. road runs all the way from Yosemite Valley on the west side into the east part of California all the way to Lee Vining which is a small town by Mono Lake. We decided to go all the way there and back in one day. One direction the drive is supposed to take about two and a half hours though the speed limit can get quite low and there's many places where you have to watch out for wildlife, windy roads, sometimes there's traffic and there's so many beautiful places to stop along the way that it will definitely take you longer than two and a half hours. Hours. We decided to stop a lot on the way there and then drive mostly in one go on the way back. That way by the time we had reached Lee Vining, we knew exactly how much time we would still need to get back before dark. That was our aim at least. After about an hour's drive, we made it to the Lucan's Lake Trailhead, which was the first hike that we decided to do on this well, Tioga road no, trip. That way. I mean, that's, I was just walking down there because it's pretty, but the lake is this way. Lucan's Lake is a relatively easy hike. It takes about an hour round trip from the parking lot and the reason to do it is of course the lake which is a really stunning alpine lake where you can go swimming. I actually did go in. It was so so cold but it was a really fun experience. We had the whole place almost to ourselves. There was one other group there and they actually left halfway through our time so we had the entire place to ourselves. Dad. Ew, 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 it's so slimy. Oh! <laughs> it's gross, it's gross. I'm gonna stand on this log. <laughs> this is extending my life. I'm allowed to stop now. Okay. Thank you. Huh. Now I'm supposed to feel hot according to all the people that do ice baths. I mean, I'm not cold. Walking down to the lake, you walk through a meadowy bit, which a bunch of wildflowers and a stream, and then 
most of the way of the hike is through sort of up and down hills through the woods. Really calm, really beautiful. It was like a good intro hike. After Lucan's Lake, the first stop that we made was Olmstead Point, which is a vista basically. It's a viewpoint, you can stop and park your car, and there's a beautiful view and a little bit of explanation about that area. We kept driving and then we next stopped at Tanaya Lake, which is another alpine lake. There's like many, many alpine lakes on this trail. And there's also many hikes that you can do. We chose to do three easy level hikes that were all about an hour in length so that we can make it all the way there and back in one day. But if you had longer to spend, I would recommend stopping more and then sleeping and levining and then going the way back the next day and then stopping at other things again. I can particularly recommend the Dog Lakes Trail and the May Lakes Trail. I read about those and they sounded really good, though they were a bit longer and had a bit higher difficulty than the ones that we chose to do. Tanaya Lake had this beautiful beach and there were a bunch of people with their little kids that seemed like they had just decided to spend the day there and there were also several campgrounds in the area so maybe that's what they were doing. We just briefly stopped to look at the water and then got back in our car and kept driving. Our next stop was Tuolumne Meadows, which is quite a famous meadow. It was really beautiful and there were wild deer grazing in the sunshine and there's a big stream that winds through the whole valley. We decided to do the Soda Springs Trail here, which is again about an hour easy hiking loop and it leads up to the Soda Springs and some cabins that have been there since I think the, 19, the early 1900s and there's a bit of history, like a little museum there, which was fun to see. After Soda Springs, we kept driving and then you get to the highest point of the drive, which is Tioga Pass. And since, because this mountain pass is so high, Tioga Road is actually closed apart from in the summer months because most of the year there is snow there. So after you tr come over the pass, you drive down into the valley and you snake your way down towards the city of Levining. Found snow in California. I've been pacing my pace in the Kamikaze. I've been making my makers say what I'm offering. We've all had behaviors and they've been troubling. Smoke way too much, I keep coughing. I pull at all the stops to make a profit. When I get down to the bottom, I need topping. Come here and ease my mind, be my clonopin. Let me chug this thing and be proud of it. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you own the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor. When I'm on the force and you use the force, there's no problem. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you own the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor. When I'm on the force and you use the force. This is the authentic part about being on a road trip. Actual getting gas. <laughs> We stopped in Levining at the gas station and then at La Dida coffee shop, which is actually right across from one of the gas stations, so that was very convenient. 
and they had really surprisingly good coffee so we sat outside in their back garden in the sunshine and had a little refresher i also thought it was really cute on the front door to this coffee shop there was a big poster of the graduating high school class that year and i think there were only about eight or nine students in the entire class and they're all pictured and named on this cute little poster and then when we went inside the coffee shop it turned out that the girl serving us was actually one of the graduates i'm pretty sure so it was just a really really small town after getting our coffee we drove around mono lake which is right there mono lake is a crater lake it's really beautiful and strange looking it kind of looks like you're on mars and you can drive down to navy beach which is a, sp a spot where you can supposedly swim so we drove down there and the ride down was really nice but when by the time we got there i realized i couldn't really swim because the water was full of like this little shrimpy crawfish stuff and it just looked really disgusting saw the tufa which is the a buildup of i think calcium from the carbonated water and there are these towers of stuff and they just look really cool and they're called tufa so we went to see those as well and just hung out in the sunshine at the lake for a little bit Mono Lake was the end point of our drive, so we then turned back. I think at this point it was around 6 p.m. or 5 p.m., so we were definitely gonna run into darkness on the way back, but we were trying to get as much of the drive done in the daylight. So we headed back and we stopped at Pothole Dome on the way, which is at the western end of Tuolumne Meadows. Pothole Dome is a very small dome that you can walk up. It took me about 20 minutes. And I went all by myself because at this point my grandma was kind of tired, understandably, as we had done a lot of walking and a lot of driving that day. So I walked up this dome for sunset and it's really hard to find on the map. I actually have the map here and it's not even on the map. So we had to ask a ranger and he helped us find it because there's no reception in the park pretty much anywhere. So you can't Google things, you can't look up things, you can't call people. It's hard. So... We found Pothole Dome thanks to that ranger. It's after, it's after the 8th, actually you can, you can see it on this map, but it's not a very precise map. It's after the 8th uh, crosswalk here, so you have to like count the crosswalks and then <laughs> walk up the dome. At the top of the dome, it was the most incredible view of Yosemite I think I had in the entire time that we were there, and we had so many good views. You could just see the entire valley that we had walked through that afternoon. I'm on another dome in Yosemite and this time it's Pot Hill Dome and look there's the sunset okay oh no the sun just went behind the clouds well it was good while it lasted oh my god okay it's kind of scary because you can't see the edges here but there are edges and they're rounded, so even if I fell, I wouldn't actually fall. Like, I don't think you can actually fall. But whoa, this might be the beautiful, whoa, whoa, look. Okay, so we keep going up the thing. I don't know where to walk to. It's so big. Okay. <sighs> nearly there. Nearly at the very, 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 very top.
so I just walked up this dome, I stood there at the top, I took a bunch of pictures, took a bunch of videos, watched the sunset, and then when I walked back down to where my grandma was, it turned out that the view from the valley was actually also really, really good. So she got a great sunset view as well, and we waited for it to get a bit darker, and then we walked back to our car, and then our navigation system said that we had about an hour and 15 minutes left on the drive, but I think it ended up taking us more like two to get back from there. So we drove back to Yosemite West and we had finally made it back to our apartment. Hello, we're leaving Yosemite today and heading out to the Monterey Coast area. I can highly recommend the Tioga Road as an act day activity when you're at Yosemite. I do think it will definitely take you at least one whole day. And if you were traveling out of the park, out east and then down to Mammoth Lakes or up to Tahoe or something, you could do it sort of on the way out. But if you're staying within Yosemite, you'd have to go there and back because there's like only one road really in that direction. Still highly worth doing and it's a bit less popular than other things because even though it's so fantastic, it does take up a lot of time and it's quite far away from other things in the park, but those are like exactly the type of travel activities that I like, the things that everybody else doesn't do. So yeah, if you have the time, if you're into uncrowded, beautiful plains and a whole nother side to Yosemite National Park, then do the Tioga road trip. Thank you so much for being here today and for watching my channel and supporting this little creative project of mine. I hope you're having a great day, whoever you are, wherever you are. Bye!